Hello, welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Today I am doing something I haven't done before and I'm going to do a um, 16 by 20 mixed media project and um, Sandy McTeer is a wonderful artist um, from Sandy McTeer Designs. She, um, she turned me on to this and it is wonderful. Um, it's a relaxing art, anybody can do it and I'm going to be doing it on the 16 by 20 board today from Fredericks. Um, I just want to tell you briefly about this. It is a um, three quarter inch deep board, okay? And it is made of a blend of vegetable based and recycled components, okay? It's eco-friendly, it's, um, it's lightweight, and it is a wonderful, wonderful mixed media pro board, okay? So if you're really into mixed media, this is the one to get. All right, so I'm gonna put that down for now here. And um, I already started to set up my project. And what I did was I just got some doilies. You can use um, stencils. Um, I am using all DecoR products today and a pretty good variety of them. So you'll get a chance to see some of their wonderful products. And so far all I did was I just took a little bit of masking tape and I taped up some, some doilies, okay? Um, I'm going to take a nice big stencil brush, Americana stencil brush, and some gesso. There's modeling paste, there's other, um, you know, mediums that you can use. And I'm just gonna show you a process of how um, to do this. And then I have a board that's already mostly done. And then I'll show you how we're gonna use some misters on there and um, a couple other little things that you'll like, all right? So for first, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm not using a stencil brush, sorry, that's later. I'm going to be getting um, just a knife, okay? And I actually am going to scoop out this gesso just as it is, all right? And I'm just going to come on here and lay it on. Now, when you're doing this, it doesn't matter um, how thick it is, all right? Because you are going to let it dry at home before you start spraying your misters on. Now, the good thing is with this gesso, even if you lay it on thick, it'll dry in maybe 15, 20 minutes and you can go on with your project, all right? So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just scooping it on, just like putting icing on a cake, all right? And I happen to like it pretty thick. It gives it some nice texture. And there we go. You can see I'm just kind of fussing around with it a little bit, spreading it out. If I don't get it all in there, it doesn't matter. Like I said, this is an art form where anything goes, okay? The next step after this, I'm going to be gluing things on, all right? Just items that I got at thrift stores and all. And you can think of whatever theme that you like. It doesn't have to be a theme at all. In this, um, this project that I'm doing, I'm doing like a beach theme. All right, so I'm going to be using some pretty blues and um, misters, I'm, I should say, some pretty blue uh, color, a turquoise color. I'll be using maybe a little green, a little yellow. I'm going to see as I, as I get there. All right, for now, I just want to show you how I'm using this uh, paper doily, okay, as a stencil. And like I said, you can, if you have stencils, you can use stencils or you can just use some paper doilies. You can even cut your own. All right, so that's it for that. Oh no, I think I'm gonna do one more thing in the bottom. I'm gonna just spread some of this on the bottom because I know I did it on my, my uh, canvas I'll be showing you shortly. And look, I'm taking a big scoop out of there, okay? I'm just gonna lay some down here on the bottom. Now, if since it's a beach theme, I can make this maybe look like a wave, okay? I just wanna show you how you can put texture and all. So I'm using the knife and just spreading it out. Okay, and you can get an illusion of a, of a wave. All righty, I'll put this down. And what I like is um, texture tools. Again, this is a deco art um, texture tool kit, and it has, it has uh, three tools in this kit. And you just take your little plastic, and you can see it's wavy on the sides, and you can pick the side that you want, and then you can just run across it. All right, and that's it. So this is a way that you can just put texture on your canvas even before you start gluing on your items, all right? So that's something I really want to show you how to do because when people think mixed media, they a lot of people, I know that I did years back, I always thought mixed media meant just using um, different paints together, you know? But now um, I know that mixed media is anything goes, okay? And that's what makes it so fun because you can have children and all do it and everybody gets creative in their own way, all right? so. Now that that is done, I'm just going to leave that there uh, for a few minutes just like that to make it easier. And 
what I'm going to do is I have an assortment of different items, okay, that I got at different thrift stores and all, like I said. And in here is just um, things that maybe are beach related, uh, shells, um, pearls, um, this is just um, string pearls that, that we strung on and tied the ends so we can glue those on. Um, I have a little uh, material that you can put on. So just some little miscellaneous uh, shells and all, all right? So what I do is I, I have a, blue, a big glue gun here. I just want to pull this cord a little bit. And um, I started out using a small glue gun. I realized that's not going to work, okay? You have to keep changing them. So I suggest you go ahead and get the full size. So the way I always start is um, I'm just making a, a design on this left side. So all you have to do is you come with your glue gun, pump your glue gun a little bit, and stick. And that's it, okay? It only takes a couple seconds to stick on. A project like this, though, if you take your time and you lay out your items, it does take a couple hours. So for today's show, I'm going to show you the method. I have a board that's uh, almost done, and then um, I'll go on to that. So you can at least see the whole, the whole method of it, all right? So um, what I'll do is I'll just come over here and let me get a couple of shells. I have some shells. I even have a starfish. I just want to show you how easy it is to start layering and putting these on. So see, I'm just running the glue along and maybe I'll overlap, all right? So you hold it for a couple seconds and it'll stick right there. All right, that's it. Now this is not sticking because I didn't put the glue where I'm touching the base, all right? So then I could just go back, just putting a little bit more glue on there and that might be a lot of glue and that's okay because I'm gonna show you why. Now with the glue gun, you get these strings and once they dry, you just pull them right off, all right? So you hold it for a few seconds. Now this glue gun, I may have to change the settings because it's a little too hot. All right, so there we go. And you just take these little parts off when you're done and you clean up your project, okay? And of course, then you get it stuck to your finger and have to pull it off your finger. So uh, let's get another, another shell over here. And like I said, I'll glue a few on, and just so you can get an idea, say I'm just putting the glue on here, just pumping it out of the gun, like that. And what I like about the mixed media is when you do it, try to overlap your items, okay? Because it looks nice when it's real full. And when you see my, um, my nearly finished piece, you'll see. How, how much better it looks when it's filled. Now see in here I have glue showing and that's okay. All you do is you go into your, your pile of whatever you're planning on gluing and watch this. You just squeeze something right in there, cover up that glue, okay? So you can see where I'm going with this. I just cleaned it up a little. See that little section? It looks really nice, doesn't it? And it doesn't matter what colors everything are, um, with this project because we're going to be painting over white before we use our misters on it and changing the color again. All right, so let me put a few more things on here. I think I'll take maybe a, a star. I have some little wooden stars. All right, just put a little glue on there. Put that right on there. Just hold it a couple seconds. And I have an anchor because, you know, we have this beach theme. So we can just put an anchor. I like to use a lot of shells, all right? Now, since I won't get to finish this on here, um, I'm not worried about using my little pieces. I actually have a little pieces that I, that I um, picked up at the Jersey Shore, which are right here. And I love the idea of using things from the yard. Um, if you go to the beach, I found this little piece of metal, and I always think, wow, I wonder, I wonder where that piece of metal came from. All right, I'm just gonna stick that right on there. So there's my little, my little piece. So if you go around your house and you find things, old broken jewelry, just get a nice board like this and start gluing them on. Uh, let me get another, another shell. And I can see that this part right here is going to touch the canvas, so I'm going to make sure I get some glue on there. All right, and there we go. Try not to get your fingers in there. Again, I'm overlapping. There we go holding it just a few seconds. So you can use um, anything that you find around and just start gluing on, all right? I'm gonna do a few more and then I'll go on to my, um, my big project that I have done. I'm just gonna put some glue on here like this. Going to put the gun down for a second there. And I just wanna glue a little bit of this on. I'll show you how easy this is, all right? So of course, like I said, um, 
you're going to get some glue on your fingers, just peel it right off. <laughs> I'm real good at being sloppy. Um, also, um, I'm going really fast with this. When you're at home, you'll sit there, you'll relax, you'll, you'll lay your project out first, and then you can go back and glue your pieces on. But like I said, I do like the idea of putting a lot a lot and really, you know, making a nice composition out of it, all right? I even have this flower here, and I can put this flower right here. Now it has that little piece of plastic there, so I'll try to squish that on, all right? Now, see, it's already starting to look pretty neat there. And again, once this dries, you just pull these off, all right? There we go. So what I'll do now is I'll stop for a minute. I'm just going to take this off. All right, so you can just see, now this paper, of course, is falling apart. It's only paper. Like I said, no rhyme or reason to this. You could do any pattern that you want. Just going to throw this back here in my garbage. You get that out of my way. And here is another piece. You can use any type of, any type of uh, tape with this. It doesn't have to be uh, any tape in particular because these boards can withstand it. A mixed media board, especially a professional one like this, it will withstand it, so don't worry. You can use any tape that you want on there, okay? Back to my garbage, and I just want to get a little bit of that off me. So you can see I have a nice little design there. I can come in and put more, um, you know, uh, designs. I can um, cut things up and use stencils and, and fill it in as much as I want. But I think the sake of um, the method, for the sake of the method, I just want to show you which way we're going with that, okay? So now I'm going to take this one down and I'm going to put up the board that I have already uh, closely completed. All right, so I'm just going to take this one down here, leave this over here dry. Like I said, this, this actually would be ready in probably 15 or 20 minutes. And I'm going to put up the one that I have closely completed. All right, there we go. Very easy. Okay, so now you can see on here that this is dry, okay? You can see that I put a lot on here, okay? I found some, um, some shells, I, um, shell necklaces that I glued on. Now, what I want to show you is to see how these are loose. You may not want too much dangling, so I purposely left some items loose. So all you have to do is come back in with your glue gun, you squirt a little bit of glue, and you just tack it on there, okay? So now that'll stay on really well because we are going to be painting over all of this. I know that sounds strange if you're new to mixed media, but we're painting over. So again, the colors of the items that you put in don't, don't really matter with this project because you're going to be go over it, you're going over it with white anyway. So I'm just feeling around and seeing, yeah, that's okay, I think. Um, if anything is loose before I start, and looks like this is a little loose. Let me fix that. There we go. So I'm just going to tack it right in there. All righty. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good so far. Um, I noticed I don't have a couple of these nice little anchors in here. So I think I'll put a couple of anchors. I want that, that beachy kind of look. Okay. So there's an ankle. See how fast that sticks right on there when you use a glue gun. All right, maybe I'll put another, oh, this, is, this one's stuck together, but you know what? I'll use it as it is. Have a little overlapping anchor right there. Put that one there. I want to check and make sure, because I know some of this I purposely didn't glue on, because I wanted to make sure that I can show my viewing audience that it's just easy to tack right on there. I even had some broken pieces of chain. You can come in, put a chain on there. This I may have to hold just a little longer, but just to show you, because this is, you know, a little bit of heavier piece, okay? So if I just lay that on there, I might have to hold that, like I said, an extra couple seconds as compared to everything else. Let's see how we're doing. See that already stuck there? All right, maybe put a little tacking right there and see if I can get a piece in there. That'll stick. Now, if you don't hurry and get it on there, of course, you have to use more glue. It does dry pretty quickly. So I'm kind of fussing with this right now, all right? You don't have to um, fuss as much as I am if you don't want to, but um, you make the project your own, okay? And like I said, if you go around your house, you'll find a whole bunch of stuff. We had stuck already, okay? Again, there's my little little pieces of the um, from the glue gun, all right? And I'll try to clean some of those off. And then as I'm painting, I'll see more and I can pull them off. But it's no problem. If you miss them, it's not a problem because 
when you're done with your project, um, you just go ahead and go back, all right, and um, even after the paint is dry, you can pull them off at that time, and you can go back and forth, so you can paint again, um, add more, okay, so it's, uh, it's really, really a fun project. What I'd like to do before I go on to painting is I have found this little wooden piece at the craft store, and I'm thinking maybe I'll try to tack that in place there. Look at that, the price tag's still on there. <laughs> And that, that doesn't matter. And I'm just going to try to tack that in. And just so we have that little, that little bird up there. All right. And I can see I got some glue on there. Can always rub that off. If it gets on there, you just kind of, you can pick that off, rub it off. Or I would just go ahead and glue something else by it. All right. So if that's a little bird there, I think that I like the idea of putting a, um, a little flower. All right. So I think... There is a little flower there. I think I'll just kind of squeeze one in here. All righty, there we go. Squeeze one in. Okay, so I think that's it for the gluing. All right, and you can see it looks, it looks pretty cool, right? So um, it's, like I said, very, very relaxing project, okay? And um, what I suggest is you get a variety of colors. I like the idea of doing themes. If you want to do a theme, that's, that's always nice, all right? So what I'm going to do next is I'm taking the gesso that I used for this. Now, of course, you could see it's, it's nice and hard there, so that's all ready to go. And I'm just going to use the jar as it is, all right? And I'm going to come in here, and I am going to start to paint, all right? And I'm not worried about getting on the board, because like I said, I'm going to be spray painting on this board. All right, so I'm going to start to cover these items up on here. Now, this could take a while. I'll see how I do time-wise, but you really want to get this paint in, okay? And there we go. See how I'm kind of squishing the brush? I suggest you use a stencil brush with this because it can take it. Can take it. I'm really pushing on this brush now, all right? And these stencil brushes are very good at pouncing. See, you can get in there. I can squeeze it in there. You don't want to take your other flat brushes or anything and try to do this because you will ruin the brush. These Americana stencil brushes are very strong. The bristle is, is a very firm bristle. So this happens to be the big one. So this is a little tricky, all right? This part's a little tricky. You can see I'm just kind of, well, I want to get some of that blue not showing, okay? Even though I'm going to be spray painting. All righty, going in there. I'm just painting everything now. Now, like I said, at home, take your time. You know, go in and out of these. Try to get, try to get everything nice and covered, all right? And look right over that. Look how nice and firm that's on there now, all right? So I do suggest with this project that you use a hot glue gun, all right? And like I said, get the big hot glue gun because you're just going to keep changing the little um, glue sticks and uh, you'll glue your fingers all the time like I do. <laughs> so I'm going to continue painting, all right? And this shouldn't take uh, more than a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to go right on to the spray paint. So now more fun. Um, what I did was I finished painting. Okay, you're getting my gesso on there. You can see it's just all a uh, nice, nice white color, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the um, misters. Now, there's shimmer misters that have a little shimmer in them, and then there is uh, regular misters, okay? And there's lots of colors to choose from, which you'll see later. Um, I did bring some other colors to show you. I'm only using a few colors on this project, but by all means, you can add as many colors as you like. Since I have this kind of beachy theme, um, you know, kind of love the beach theme going, um, of course, I, I could go with the pinks and all, but at this time, I like the idea of just going with um, some white, some, some turquoise, and then we can see from there. All right, so this is the fun part. This is when we start to spray. All right, so um, I have a, a turquoise mister, all right? And what you can do is before you start to spray, you can see where you're going to spray, and you can hold up a piece of cardboard, all right? Um, you can make something that you can uh, turn over. And again, Sandy Mateer had a great idea with a piece of plastic where you um, can aim your mister in certain areas, okay? But for this, we're just kind of just kind of going with the flow. But I think what I'd like to do first is just try a little bit of the white mist, okay? So this one is a white shimmer mister, again, of course, from, from Deco Art. And this, I can just squirt a little. 
You can see it's just a fine, fine mist. Just want to get a little bit of white on there, okay, on that side. So what I want to do though is I'm a big blue fan. <laughs> and I'm going to take some of this nice turquoise and squirt a little. Now I'm not squirting real heavy, I'm squirting lightly, okay? And you can see how great it sticks. Look at how beautiful this is. It just sticks right to it, okay? I like the idea of maybe a squirting a little bit up in this corner here. And then we'll see what happens, because we are gonna we can add and delete. And the way we can add and delete the color is, if you have too much of a dark color, just put some white over it, all right? Now, if you use too much, it will start to drip, okay? I'm gonna try and make it not drip, if I can help it. All right, so now I'm going to this beautiful color. And this is, uh, let me just get the right name in case you wanna pick this one up. This is a yellow green, okay? And I'm gonna come back in again. I'm gonna go over to this bird. You can see I'm just kinda aiming it. I'm gonna shake that up a little, press a little harder, all right? So here we go, just no rhyme or reason, just kinda seeing which way I'm going with it. Now we have some beautiful yellow green. Again, maybe I'll come over here, put a little bit of yellow green on there. All right, so beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I like the idea of putting a little white again down here. It is gonna give it, even though it's a white background, it is gonna give it a little bit of a shimmer. That's why it's shimmer. It has a little bit of a nice sparkle in there. All right, gonna go with this, uh, this blue, put a little tiny bit of blue. That's not a little tiny bit. Okay, so this is a good. I didn't want that little, t that much blue. I'm gonna go back with this white, watch what I can do. I can tone it down, but I'm gonna put extra on, I'm gonna show you why. Notice how that's dripping, all right? You may want it to drip down your canvas, and that may be the look that you want, okay? If you don't want the look of the dripping, all you have to do is come in here with a paper towel and blot it. Now, you may like the idea of how that looks being blotted, all right? See, we're getting a little marble effect with that. All right, you can rub it and you can actually take it right off if you don't want that. So don't be nervous about spraying on these misters because like I said, showed you right here, you can blot it, you can change it, all right? So you're not, you're not stuck with anything. I'm gonna come back to my white. I wanna even that out a little bit, all right? Come back up here, get a little white and I'm gonna go back again to my mister. Now, I have a little bit of a yellow mister. I'm not sure. Now, this yellow may be a little too yellow for the, for the, um, the coloring that I like, but I'm just gonna give it a little squirt here and give it a try. Let me get a little, and I think that I do actually like the yellow. So I think I'm gonna come into my center and gently spray a little yellow, okay? So now, I always say, well, I don't always say it, um, less sometimes is better, all right? If you can, you wanna keep spraying because it's a lot of fun, okay? If you keep spraying, um, you're changing. Every single time you make a squirt, now you're changing it. If you already like it, you, that's it. You don't wanna keep trying to say, I'll add more and I'll like it better, you may not. So just take a step back. I'm gonna take a step back and take a peek and um, I think I may want a little bit more blue on this side, so I'll just go back to my blue. Make sure that the nozzle is facing away from you so you don't face your, you spray yourself in the face. And the reason how I know that is because I have done it before. So you may want to not, um, you know, just always make sure that that nozzle is sprayed away. All right, so now I think I have enough color on there, and I really do like the way that looks, okay? I am getting this nice beachy feel, nature feel, uh, with the bird and all. Now, there is something else that I love to use, and this is a metallic luster. This metallic luster comes in these little jars, and it's wonderful to put on picture frames, to dress up your furniture, and what you can, you can use this with your finger, or you can use it with a little um, paintbrush, okay? So I'm just gonna rub my finger in here, all right? And let me just get the right, I know it's white, but I wanna make sure, this one's called white frost, all right? And it's, it's a nice shimmery color. What you do with this is you find spots on your project and you just rub it on, all right? Now this is gonna give it a, a shimmer, all right? A nice shimmer. So maybe I wanna put a little down here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, if it's gonna translate, I put a little too much there. If it's gonna translate too much, so I'm gonna go to another color, all right? So I'm gonna put this white down and this is why you need to have a variety of colors. So you can um, you know, try a few. You can see this one I've used already a lot. This, is, this one is called the Brilliant Turquoise, which will match the turquoise of the spray that I used. So let me see if, this, if my paint is dry enough. 
All right, so you can put a little bit of that on. You could do a couple layers and you can um, get some of this nice shimmer in, all right? So my paint is still a little bit wet under there. Usually you would wait for it to dry a little longer than I did, but you just can go through the colors and you can um, find the color that you like and just rub it on here and there. So maybe I put a little green over here. So this one seems to be showing more, okay? So now you can see. Now when you see this shimmer there, all right, hopefully you can, my, uh, my cameraman can get a little close up, you'll see that shimmer on there. This product is what you would use on your furniture edges and on your picture frames and any other projects that you have that you really want to dress up. And it's a beautiful, beautiful color, this green. So maybe I'm going to put just a little bit over here. I just want to make this stand out almost like a little shadow maybe. All right. And here and there. Now, like I said, that paint under there is, is not real dry. Okay. So um, I would probably wait for it to dry. I'm a little concerned about trying to put some of this on the bird, but let me just see if I can tap a little on just so you can see a little better. There you go. Now you can see that pretty shimmer. Okay, so with this project, you can use um, your own materials. You don't have to go out and buy things. Like I said, you just can go around your house, pick stuff up. Um, what's very popular is the keys and old, if you have old broken clocks, don't throw those out because you can make some real pretty timepiece um, media art projects that really look beautiful. And I like the way that little green looks up there. Let me try to get some white now. All right, so I'm just going back and forth, looking at my project and seeing where I may want to put a little of color. Now that I put a little bit too much, you can see, put a little too much, I'm just going to spread that out. I just want to show you that what you can do to really dress this up and shine it up. All right, and you'll just find little spots here and there and you'll go back, see I just covered up that green a little and that's okay because I could always go back and put a little more. So I'm going to try to step back a little bit and I do think that I want a little bit of color in that bird after all, after I just put that white. So you know what? I'm going to go back with my blue. I'm going to come back here and do a little squirt. Come back again with my little yellow color here and again do a little squirt. All right. So now I'm just putting on the final touches here. I want to make sure I get down here. My easel's in the way. All right. So I'm going back looking again. I don't want to cover all of my nice texture. Some will show through better than other spots. You can still see it's a heart. Um, someone may look at this and get an illusion and say, oh, that was supposed to represent water, um, which was the idea I was kind of going with down here, like a little wave, all right? And um, that pretty much would be it. So um, again, the process is to put your stencil on, let it dry. Um, like I said, depending on what product you're using, some dry quicker than others. Then you're going to start to glue on all of your um, items, what you want on there. Then you're going to cover it with um, white gesso, okay? Then you're going to start spritzing with your misters and putting on your metallic luster, all right? So um, I hope that you'll um, take a peek at Deco Art page, look at the wonderful products. There's thousands more than what I've showed. And I hope this will um, encourage you to jump into trying a mixed media project. So thank you so much and come find me on Facebook and um, see my shows on YouTube. Thank you.